What's up guys, I hope that you are doing well. My name is Selim Shaimi and for 2020, I'm doing one YouTube video per day related to SMMA. So in this video, I wanted to talk about how to get your first client. By the way, if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can do so, it's free. And you can also follow me on Instagram where you can ask me any questions, you know, via DM or via my story so that um, I can do a video about about it, right? I'm doing one video per day. So obviously it's a lot of content. So, um, you know, my goal is really to help as many people as, pos uh, as possible to start and grow their social media marketing agency. And so today I wanted to, um, you know, to tell you guys how to get your first client. So let's suppose that you just started your agency you know, that you are new to this, uh, to this business model that, uh, you know, you don't know, uh, maybe you don't know how to do marketing, right? And, but you want, you're really interested in uh, social media marketing. You want to learn how to do Facebook ads. Maybe you want to learn how to provide SEO. Maybe you're passionate about it, but you never, you know, you never knew like how to start, how to get that first client. Well, the first thing is really what I can tell you is to be committed. All right. So you need you need to be committed to that uh, business model. You don't you, you must not, um, you know, fall into the shiny object syndrome. So you start SMMA for three months. I did it, by the way. I'm telling you this because I just did it. I started SMMA for three months. I was doing free trials. I don't I disagree with doing free trials, by the way. Uh, I did a video about this in my, you can find it in my YouTube channel, but I really disagree with uh, free trials. So I started SMMA the first three months I was doing free trials, couldn't get my first client. And then, um, you know, I, I said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to try drop shipping. So I tried drop shipping for one month. I lost money on Facebook ads. And, but now, you know, uh, I don't say this. I mean, I mean, I'm happy that I had the dropshipping experience because at least I could experience with Facebook ads, with e-commerce, and now e-commerce is my niche, so I'm very happy about it. But you know, you must stay focused, and when I say focus, is do not change, uh, you know, business models. Um, if you didn't try it for a year, so what uh, I would tell you is in 2020, try it for a year get your first clients and and you will see that it's working and it's actually a really great business model and really profitable one and sustainable one and you know it will smma will be there for for a long time so i think it's really interesting to start and also to grow a social media marketing agency now how to get this first client well you don't have any experience you don't know how to do facebook ads well the first thing as i told you is to commit all right commit to the business model then you must not onboard a client if you don't know how you will be providing results to them. So that's very important because if you, um, you know, if you if you don't know what you will be doing and you onboard the client, then it's very bad for the reputation of uh, of the industry. All right. So maybe you will provide bad results for this client and he will never work again uh, with uh, digital marketers. And also he won't believe in Facebook ads anymore. So it's really important that you know uh, what you are doing and that you can explain it clearly to, um, you know, to business owners, for example. And, you know, it's n you, you're not necessarily, you must not necessarily learn how to do Facebook ads for six months. All right. So that's what I did. I learned everything about Facebook ads. I did a Shopify store and I learned, uh, you know, on myself. That's why I did dropshipping, by the way. And I, you, you're not necessarily have to do it. You can build a team. All right, you can outsource, you can find a freelancers on Upwork. You have a bunch of websites. You can find an outsourcer and you can uh, you can work with him. All right, he will work for you and he will provide the result for you. So all you will have to do is to outreach clients <clears throat> so that when you have the client, you can you can work with your uh, contractor so that you can provide the results for your clients. All right, now it's getting interesting. But you need, to, you, you know, you need to know the overview of the service that you are providing. For example, if you are providing Facebook ads, you need to know how to deliver Facebook ads because otherwise, uh, I mean, maybe your contractor will tell you a price that is ridiculous. And because you don't know Facebook ads, you will say, OK, let's do it. No, you need to know, you know, what you are doing. You need and always, always when you are before to delegate, always know 
uh, what you are delegating. If you're if you did it yourself, it's always better. All right. But my recommendation is to build a team to find a, a contractor so you can find him on Upwork. And when you get the client, you give it to the contractor directly. Now, if you already know how to do Facebook ads, well, maybe you can take one client, do the Facebook ads. So, for example, a 1K per month client, you do the Facebook ads for the client. And when you get your second client, now you are thinking about, okay, how I'm going to outsource the the service. All right. So because what we want, again, is to have an automated agency where you have, you know, the contractor working for you and delivering the service while you can focus on sales, on uh, outreaching, you know, because your job as a business owner is sales and operations. So you need to focus on sales, all right, bringing clients because, you know, money is the lifeblood of any business. So your job is to, um, you know, focus on sales and focus on operations. So your processes, like build your process with your contractor, all right? And guys, you don't, I, you know, a lot of people told me, but how can I start if I don't have any testimonials? Well, now that you have a team, now that you have another contractor, you can ask him, hey, I need your testimonials so that I can outreach clients, all right? And now it's getting really good because you're starting to build an agency that is operational. And now you can start to onboard clients. You can also do free trials. If you want If you want to do to go the hard way, you can do free trials. Learn everything about Facebook ads and do it, do, you know, provide the service yourself. Uh, That's a possibility. I did it at the beginning and I really regret it because I lost a lot of time, but you can do it and it's a possibility. Um, But trust me, uh, you won't, you won't sign any clients with free trials. I mean, you can, you can try, it can work, but trust me, the best thing is, you know, actually the first client that my first client um i got him because i refused the free trial so he told me can you do a free trial and i just told sorry but we that was the first time after three free trials that didn't convert into client i just said hey you know what sorry but i'm not doing free trials that's not something that my agency is providing and he's and she said okay let's do it and that was my first client all right so that's why i really (laughs) don't believe in um, in free trials, but after it's just my opinion, of course. So that's, you know, that's how to get your first client. So believe, you know, commit in this business model, build a team, all right, know what you're doing. And what else, what else can I say? You, you need also, um, you know, an outreach system, like how can I, how can you generate meetings on demand? Because for one client, you will maybe have to do 10 meetings. So how can you generate 10 meetings? You need to work on this. How can you generate meetings on demand? Like when you say, okay, it's January, I want 10 meetings. How do you do? How can you generate 10 meetings on autopilot? How can can you generate meetings on demand? So commitment, service delivery, and then how can you automate the uh, outreach? How can you generate meetings on demand? So that's how to start. And that's how you get your first clients. All right, guys. So I hope that you like this video and I will see you in another video.